Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. I'm your host, Green47 here, and we're going to open up this generator thingamajig. Floop. So awesome. And we'll just smash that. Gather my fair share of coins from it. 27, alright. I've also got 4 lives and 5 keys. There's more levels. Over here. All my calculations led me to believe you had failed to knock out that generator. Never was good at math. Well, here's a real test for you. I found oh my way gosh. To hideout, but unfortunately, it is doomed to failure. Really? Don't tell me I have to shoot myself out of that cannon. I'm afraid that's the only way. <laughs> I never caught that dialogue. Anyway, to get inside that thing, you had to steal all seven of Raleigh's treasure keys. So what are we waiting for? You show me those hollow what's it's. You mean my holographic markers? Yeah, yeah. And I'll swipe whatever it takes to get shot out of that cannon and steal back my family's devious raccoonus. So yeah, I need seven keys. I currently have five. That means there's a couple more levels. There's one in there and one up there. I actually have more I actually had more than enough keys to open the generator. I just didn't want to do so yet before I had finished all the levels in the section of World 1. Die! Treasure in the Depths. This is the first level with no bottles. It's a mini game level. This is actually one of the hardest levels in World 1 and I do not enjoy it in the least. Actually it's better than the other mini game levels but it's a twin stick shooter. I guess I like this, I don't know. I mean, I've recently become a fan of twin stick shooters, so... I haven't... I mean, this was the first one I played, and I didn't enjoy it, but... You know, since I'm into them now, with Super Stardust and Zombie Nation and that minigame that was in Black Ops, which was the only reason I purchased Black Ops and then promptly sold it when I got bored of the minigame... Yeah, uh... Stuff. So you just gotta shoot crabs away while you break open some chests. If a crab takes a chest, you lose the game and have to start over. Which is a pain because there are so many chests and so many crabs. And it's just insane. Die, 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 die. You wanna... My original strategy when I used to play this is forget about crabs and just kill them and kill any crabs that happen to get in your way. Uh, that's not a good strategy at all. It's kill the chests that crabs are almost at. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. I don't think so. Crabs. Although it's cool when crabs get stuck there, because... Oh, no, 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 no. More awful mini-games to come later. Nothing interesting to say about this. Nothing possible that's interesting to say about this. Other than it's just super impossible to do. Naturally, I get it my first time. Go ahead and finish up those, and we got the key and that's all there is to this level so one level to go before I cut for the boss fight I guess this may end up being a small episode because bosses will get their own episode we're also making quite a bit of progress into this game already this may be a shorter LP than I anticipated oh no I don't think so bro hiya Ninja sneak. Like a boss. Hide from squids like a boss. Bash them squids like a boss. Out of tune like a boss. Naturally, that guy can see you. And he will attack you. Um, I really don't remember much about this level, if I'm being completely honest. This is 
This feels like it's a blind run, I know it's not, but it just has that blind feeling. Oh, uh, you're dead. Gotta try to get all these. This is somewhere that you may or may not need to go. I don't think you do. Oh, you do. Yeah, there's like three paths to go in this, or two. One's up here. I don't actually know if this is a path or not, but there's stuff up here, like bottles. I need to find the alarm thing. There it is. Let's go ahead and finish this level up quick, too. No pain, no... whatever. Because I don't want to say gain, because I'm gaining without pain, so... Okay, there's that save point. Um... Oh, okay, you're gonna bother me until I kill you, aren't you? Oh, I have a gold horseshoe. Why am I freaking out about this thing? It's not even that hard. This really isn't a hard game. I'm also... I, I don't want to sound like a stuck-up jerk, but I am pretty good at this game. With the exception of that Strike of the LP curse earlier. I tend to think I'm good at this game. I mean, I've managed to LP it, or to play through it in like, I think, what, three hours with no deaths? Which is actually a really hard thing to do, and I'm probably going to get killed by every boss at least once in this LP. I don't know. We'll find out. Now, won't we? Um, this is a bothersome part of the level. I may have just missed something. Oh no, turn around, turn around, turn around. Thank you. Boom! You're dead. Headshot. Except it wasn't a head, and I didn't shoot it, so... Squid whack! Boom! Squid whack! I'm gonna start saying that every time I whack a squid. Um, just head out over here. And stuff, this is such a pain, this level. This is the first level that I flat out dislike. I mean, the, there was that end of the fire level that I'm just like, eh, I'm not a big fan of this one, you know? I mean, it's it's okay. Oh, hey, I got all the bottles. Well, bazonks. And there's the thing and the key. Yeah, it was cake. It's Algebra puzzles. I guess this is why I should pay attention in Algebra 2. But I don't want to. Because it's a boring class and it's hard. It's not super hard. It's just really boring and I got an awesome move. Coin magnet. So yes, naturally coins are now attracted to you. It's 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock and even watching something stupid on TV. That's not how the song goes, but I don't really give a care. Leaving the calling card as usual. Because we're classy. And boom! We finished that level too. 18% of the way done with the game. What's this? Four episodes in? Yeah, we're, we're moving, guys. I'm probably going to finish this faster than I thought. This may be a two, three week long project, which is probably good because I'm going to spend the extra time that I have now discussing some things. So I am in my school's robotics team. It's awesome, but it also takes up a lot of time. So that is definitely going to interfere with my upload schedule. I may have to have like my parents or my family or my sister or someone do my uploading for me, or I may give the files to my friend who will then upload for me you know I don't I don't know I've got a few friends that I trust with my YouTube password I think only one knows it at the time but there's a couple more I'd be willing to give if it would mean a regular upload schedule in fact I think that's what I'm going to do because he was on robotics but then he quit because his grades got down and it wasn't even the build season yet so yeah, anyway, this thing's, it's like 20 hours a week. It's insane. It's after school until 8, 8.30, three days a week, and then 10 hours on Saturday. 
So it's probably more than 20 hours. It's nearing 25 hours. It's insane. But it is the most fun thing in the world. And uh, so yeah, naturally, that's going to take up time. And my birthday is coming up. And I'm pretty much taking that entire week off of everything. Because that is exam week. So that sounded really bad. Let me clarify. I'm going to go to school Monday and Tuesday. Take my exams, go to school Wednesday, my birthday, take the exams. I get out at 10.30 on my birthday. I am then going to eat sushi for lunch. My dad takes me to sushi on those days that we get out early for s exams. So he's going to take me. We're going to eat some sushi because that's my favorite food. And I'm going to eat like 16 plates full of sushi because I love it so much. And then I'm going to come home and play probably Skyward Sword or Skyrim or something. I don't know if I'm getting Skyrim. I think I'm getting Skyward Sword. You guys will know by now. One of the games that I talked about in last week's screen on screen, I'm going to play one of those for five days straight because we get Thursday and Friday off. And then naturally we get Saturday and Sunday off. So I'm going to play those games five days straight, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I'll do, I won't have any homework because it's the end of the semester. And I'm dropping a couple classes because they're lame, and I don't want to take them. And, um, yeah, that that's about it. So, my upload schedule is going to be pretty confusing with robotics and exams, which happen to fall during robotics. I'll probably have to take that week off robotics. And I will probably just give a flash drive to a friend. Or put the files in a Dropbox, which I'll then give to a friend. To upload for me. So that's about it for this episode, guys. See you guys tomorrow with more Sly Cooper.